skip the middle. Oh, couldn't we skip the middle? Maybe Mr. Marshall wouldn't oh, know. No, we couldn't. I'll come down and play it right through for you. You wait now. Your mama says that Mr. Marshall's a very educated, cultured gentleman. I'm sure he'd notice. Now, watch. What happened? I... Nothing, darling. Nothing happened. Now, you go to bed. Nothing happened. I only twisted my ankle. Alexandra! Oh, I'm coming, Mama. I wanted to see too, so I looked a little, I guess. But I made him close up the box quick, and I told Your him. Oh, you say? He opened it. Yes, sir. Yes, he did. My word of honor. Of course, that don't excuse me for looking, but I did make him close it up and put the keys back in Manda's drawer. Now, tell me the truth, Leo. I'm not going to be angry with you. Did you open the box yourself? No, sir. I didn't. I told him. I'm not going to be angry with you. Sometimes a young fellow deserves credit for looking around him, see what's going on. Why, I'd work for eight a week myself. There ain't a man in this section, black or white, who wouldn't give his right arm for just three silver dollars every week. Huh, Horace? No, they'll take less than that when you get around to playing them off against each other. Well, your father said he made the thousands and you boys would make the millions. Millions for us, too. Us? You and me? I don't think so. You've got enough money, Regina. We'll just sit by and watch the boys grow rich. Standing when I didn't want you near me. The lies and excuses I used to make to you. And you believed them. That was when I began to despise you. Why didn't you leave me? Where was I to go? What money did I have? I didn't think about it much. If I had, I'd have known you'd die before I did. But I couldn't have guessed you'd get heart trouble so early and so bad. 